mapping out the 90-mile cycle journey to a place where over 400,000 British soldiers lost their lives. This trio from Ashleborough are biking to the Somme to commemorate the riders of the Army Cyclist Corps who volunteered during the Great War. They're also raising money for the armed forces charity SAFA, which helped Dave Bickle when he was diagnosed with PTSD after serving for 23 years in the Royal Engineers. I was not sleeping, um, bad tempered. Uh, you, you, you just anxiety, anger, you know, to the point where you don't want to know anybody and you push everybody away, even your loved ones, you push away. And they, they accept it and then they change their life almost to help you change yours. And that's the, that's the hardest thing in, is to stand up and say, I do have a problem. And I did it and the support was absolutely brilliant. 146 people are taking part in the ride, setting off from London at the end of the month. They'll spend three days travelling around the memorials and the Commonwealth graves in France and Belgium, finishing in Tynecourt, where over 55,000 soldiers are remembered. Despite the fact that 100 years since the Battle of Passchendaele, it's still something about the atmosphere of that location that, that makes it all come back to the, particularly those that have served and have served in um, conflicts over the years, understanding what those soldiers may have gone through. None of us have gone through what they went through at Passionately on the Somme since, um, but we understand some of what it's about, so it's quite emotional. The ride has doubled in numbers this year, and it's hoped that thousands of pounds will be raised for SAFA. They're the longest serving military charity, helping 60,000 people a year, that's around 165 a day. It helps with things like finding homes for service personnel, adoption and social care. There's so many out there that don't ask for help or don't know who to turn to that I think the more publicity that it's given, then they can reach out and help a lot of the servicemen. That um, Some of them haven't got anywhere to live, they're on the streets and I think you know the more people that they can reach, that can only be a good thing. The ride sets off on the 30th of August and takes three days to complete commemorating the soldiers from the past and trying to help those of the future. Christina Brinkley, Mustard TV, Attleborough.